Hello, welcome in. It's time for tea, a crochet life and stuff with Deborah. I'm Deborah. I hope you're taking some time for tea today. Sit back, do a little crocheting, have a cup of tea, and enjoy yourself. Today's tea is steeping right now. When you hear the timer, that's the recommended uh, steeping time, letting me know that it's ready. Okay, this is out of my November teas collection from Sips By. Not sponsored, I purchase a Sips By subscription just so I can try a whole bunch of teas. Now today's tea, ah, there goes the beep. I might let it sit just a little bit longer. Is Oolong Tea by Choice Organics. And it says that it is a medium caffeine, so yay, we're gonna be peppy today. Um, and it says one bag per eight ounces of water. I've got a little extra water, so I guess I, you know I can let it steep a little bit longer because I don't have any eight ounce mugs, like ever. I'm big, my mugs are big, it's all good. Um, it wants you to have it boiling when it starts off, so this is hot, and if y'all know me, I cannot sip super hot tea. I'll be blowing on a spoonful going, oh my gosh, I'm gonna try it, okay? It says to steep three to four minutes. That was the timer for four, um, so it's gonna sit for a little bit longer. And in the description here, it says, Choice Organics Oolong Tea is floral and aromatic. They blend the finest oolong varieties to create a unique and refreshing flavor profile undeniably delicious it can be brewed hot or iced and there's contact information for choice organics teas so i'll be giving it a try first let's take a sniff of it while it's still got the tea bag in oh and if you wonder i do have a clothespin one of my kitty clothespins um on the outside of the mug because now this does have a nice long string and that is helpful but sometimes when they put a string on it short and you don't want to have to go fishing for it just use your fancy clothespin you can set it next to it on the table, okay? Hmm, that smells really nice. It doesn't smell strong at all, considering I've had it now in here for probably five minutes. I would think that it would be a little bit stronger. Nice brown color, none of that raspberry or hibiscus a color going on there. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and set it aside on my little plate. Mm. I can definitely smell that it's oolong tea now. Um, I've had a bunch of different teas in my life. I do like tea. Putting in my stevia in the raw, just, you know, I usually have the generic, but somebody gave me some of these, so I'm going to use them because I do like my hot tea to be a little bit sweet. And I'm going to test it without any creamer or milk or anything, but I'm probably going to put some in it and try it with that as well. So, I want to know it's going to be too hot to sip, y'all, because the mug is even super hot. Oh, it feels nice. It's kind of chilly today. <laughs> mm. I'm actually recording this on a lunch break from a work because I do work usually 10 to 12 hours a day. So, lunch hour is when I get stuff done. The color of this, it is a light brown. It's not a super dark tea. Oh, that's nice. Yes, me blowing on a spoon. That's real entertaining, isn't it? There's something there that I'm, I'm trying to identify, some flavor. It reminds me of some tea that I had in a Chinese restaurant <laughs> about 20 years ago. I, I cannot put my finger on it exactly. Not in a bad way, it, it's really, really good. Um, I used to sort of steer away from oolongs because I'd had a sort of a, you know, a, a yucky tea experience with an oolong once and I thought, well, then I must not like oolong. Well, it's stupid. Just try again, you know. But, yes. Oh, I want to drink from the mug so badly, but I know I can't. It's still too hot. Hmm. And if you're wondering what Mad World is, Haunted Attraction, that's a Haunted Attraction in South Carolina, uh, which is, a, it's about... 20 miles for me or so, maybe 30. Yeah, it's 30 miles up I-85. 
And um, they've had a great haunted attraction every year. That is like the highlight of my year is to go to Mad World. And yes, I did get a mug as a souvenir. I also have a t-shirt from them as well um, from this year because it is an absolute blast. They do a fabulous job. So Mad World, if you like haunted attractions and if you're anywhere in the Southeast, travel to this one. It is so worth it. Mm. Yeah, definitely tastes like good Chinese restaurant <laughs> tea. And I think if, if I were to look up the history of it, they probably use oolong tea at a lot of Chinese restaurants. That is lovely. I wonder if I should try the creamer in it though, because it's so good without it. You know what? For science, for science, put a little um, no sugar creamer in there. And hey, it might cool it off enough for me to actually drink it. Everything's always better with a little bit of pretty clouds floating around in your hot tea, isn't it? Oh, I thought it was good before. Yes, add the vanilla creamer if you like vanilla. I love vanilla flavoring in things. People say, oh, vanilla is boring. No, it really isn't. It really enhances a lot of things, especially coffee and tea. Mm. Oolong tea, y'all. That's pretty good. And if you're interested in Sips By, it's SipsBy.com, S-I-P-S-B-Y.com. I'll, I'll put it in the description. Like I said, not affiliated, um, but it's just something I decided to do to get to try more teas. And you get to pick out teas according to your own likes and dislikes. Uh, make, you can do all non-caffeinated teas or all high caffeine teas. I said, give me all the caffeine levels so I can try them all. Um, and all the teas, the florals, the blacks, the greens, all of them, because I want to try different things, but you don't have to. So if you want to give it a try, do so. I think it's a lot of fun. And I think this is yummy, yummy tea. So <laughs> thanks for coming by. Uh, I will have the playlist linked above and in the description below. And I hope you take some time for tea today. Bye y'all.